cool. And then I'll go on Instagram. Yay. Yay. Um, I feel like, how are you doing? I am doing pretty good today. To be honest, yesterday I just felt, I don't know if you've ever had these days by the second half of the day, I just felt kind of cranky and out of it. And I was like, I need to go to bed early. Tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, sorry, I'm having trouble finding live, it's like, how could I not, oh, there we go, sorry, I only recently updated my uh, Instagram correctly, so I'm going live on Instagram. Okay, awesome. And our YouTube peeps are here. What's up, Frankie, Tyler, Gianni? Yeah, we're just talking about how we're feeling more so. Yeah, you said, you said yesterday you were feeling what? Well, it's just like the second half of the day. I, I think I just felt super overwhelmed and I started feeling really cranky at night and I knew there was a bunch of other things to do and I was like half asleep as, as I was trying to do the work and then I felt like I was being grumpy to Pasha and then I was like, you know what? I just need to go to bed and tomorrow's a new day. <laughs> Have you had those days? I actually never get grumpy. Uh, it's just a, Yeah, a I'm perfect just never thing about seen, me. You know? I've never seen, yeah, you're, yeah. Yeah, you never seem to get mad about anything. No, no. Um, that's just not in my personality. <laughs> <laughs> um, join the Instagram. Yes, let me figure out how to do that again. Oh, request to join. Here we go. I don't want to, like, miss it. Okay. Right, we got peeps on YouTube. Sean's here, Luthier, Sam. Okay, I'm requesting in. I feel Is like other me? people's hairs, like hair grows like, it grows like back and like down. I feel like my hair just grows up. It just goes. Yeah, you're getting a lot of volume. Yeah, it just goes, it just get. it just gets all crazy. And, like when it gets to a certain size, it gets just crazy and curly. It just goes. A super higher. rock and roll. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's cool. How's our sound, everybody? I think it's, we got oh. a bunch Peep on, on uh, Sarah's in the house on YouTube. Sam was just saying I was listening to your Court Square video and I switched over as soon as I saw you guys were live. Awesome. Did we do it this time? Is our sound okay? Awesome. How are you, Leo? You look like you're in a different place. Where are you? Yes, I am. I am in, uh, I am in my parents' house. My parents have a beautiful house, man. It is beautiful. I feel like I've been taking a little tour every time we've been doing our personal They have a um, really cool, like, stuff. they have a really cool house. I was going to grab What my... room are you in? This is, like, the living room, um, hang area. I was Ooh, what is that? Is that a picture? Are we about to see, like, baby Leo right now on, oh. Yeah. Oh, that's my brother. Wow. I just got so excited. You guys are about to see family photos. I'm trying to. <laughs> of Leo's fam. I think that's me and my mom. Wait, let's see. You know, I don't know if you can see. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're a baby. Yeah. Is that a blue blanket that you have? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, people are saying I have an echo. Shoot, sorry. An echo on Instagram? Um... Is it still there? Why would they hear? Okay, I think. Oh, maybe it's the um, headphones or something? My speakers are off. Check, check. Can you speak, Leo? Speaking. Speaking, speaking, speaking. Um, but is it okay on YouTube? Okay, in YouTube it's fine. So if it's really bothering you guys on Instagram, you can head over to Two Saxies YouTube, and we promise that it's really good audio. Um, it's still there. Why would it be? Did we ever figure this out, Leo? <laughs> um, no. Well, we certainly tried. <laughs> no. Grace is the one with Echo. Okay. Well, but your sound is completely down on my phone. Oh, someone said, I think Leo needs to wear headphones. But my 
Yeah, I could try that, but like my um, but the Instagram, my phone is mute. Oh, maybe it's going through. All right, I'll let's try. It. We're gonna try, people. Sorry, but on a, uh, I think on YouTube or. All right, there's no echo on YouTube, so at least one out of two's working. We're, we'll do a little more testing. Leo's not echoing Grace's, but it could be coming from Leo's phone, maybe. You know what? That totally is it. I totally forgot. Oh. Is that better? Did that work? Did it, did it, did it? IG peeps? Am I still echoing on Instagram? Echo? Maybe we're good. Oh no, it's still echoing. Oh, it fixed, we did it. That was the fix. Cool, Yay. sorry sorry about that. Anyways. I uh, forgot. Thank you all for helping us out. Okay, so take us back. You were showing us cute photos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One second. Also, someone's asking, is that a banjo in the background? I think that is a banjo. Oh, we got some cute comments coming <laughs> on YouTube too. Sorry, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff here and I'm like, I don't know which Oggy, is like... what's up, Oggy? I think Oh if... my god. I He's, think Instagram now has this multiple video thing. This is this is my dad and his dad. In, Augie. Wait. My dad and his dad. Both playing the accordion? Yeah. That's golden. Yeah. Wow. Is that your dad's banjo in the back? Someone is asking about the banjo. It's actually my mom's banjo. Oh, your mom plays? Yeah, she plays banjo and mandolin. Wow. Wow. Do you guys I, do any jamming together? This is my dad as a kid. Wow, dude. It's so cool. Oh yeah, my we, gosh. We jam. We jam. We used to a lot. She has this banjo club. It's like 60 people. I used to play with them a banjo lot. banjo club? Yeah, she's in a banjo club. It's like 60 people in it. That's lit. Augie, wow, are you still here? Do you want to request in? I think we could do multiple video things. We'd love to see you. Um, everybody, we're getting the, the picture book tour from Leo as he is at his parents' house. This is my dad on the, uh, I guess left on the left. Yeah. Isn't that wild? With his long locks. Yeah. Oh, look at that stash. It's very cool. Wait, Leo, Augie, I yeah. think Augie is trying to maybe call in. Oh. Oh, that's right. I'm running Let's this. Let's get our boy in, and then you can keep showing us pictures. But won't, will it not be weird that he's, like, on Instagram but not on YouTube? Oh, might be. Well. I mean, whatever. We'll try. Let's see. Oh, it worked. Wow. Whoa. What's good? Oh, I can't hear him. Oh because... my God, we're gonna get an echo because yeah, he's not because on we're YouTube. on YouTube okay. too. Wait, I have headphones. Yeah. What's going on, Augie? What's up? How are you guys? I'm good. This is cool. This is, this is cool. the first this time the we've first tried, time we've we've tried, tried the multiple, multiple... Uh, creams. I'm wearing a hat because this is just <laughs> <laughs> not happening today. <laughs> I'll put the hat back on. Talking about, uh, we were just talking about fluffy hair. Yeah, my hair just goes up. It doesn't go like back, really. I, yeah, I gave up today. I, I, well, actually, I haven't, like, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna eat breakfast soon. You know, I'm not ready for anything. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel how's that. The, how's the gym how's the schedule, schedule going, going Augie? Yeah, it's going well. I've been sticking to like five days a week. So I, I, I feel a lot better. It's because, you know, every single sax player is, like, in great shape. I mean, Grace is in great shape. Leo's in great shape. Michael Wilbur's in great shape. Sam Greenfield. So I'm, like, over here, like, with noodle arms getting into the <laughs> Yo, <laughs> so go saxophone. Like, everyone, like, everyone you, like know, you know, 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was like, I gotta do something, you know. I can't just be the noodle arm guy. <laughs> so I, I decided that it was time to maybe start lifting things other than Big Macs and putting, you know, some weights on. So that's that's been my my story. Heck yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. So you guys motivated me. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's cool. It, like, kind of goes, I mean... It's like being in shape, especially like doing a lot of cardio, definitely goes hand in hand with saxophone. But I don't know if if big having big muscles really helps that much. I mean, it kind of does to hold the saxophone up, but it's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm saying from like an aesthetic standpoint. Yes. Like, <laughs> like you know, I mean, you know, I yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I look at like I look at like noodle arm game. <laughs> Like I, I look at art as like a whole like a whole thing. Like when you go to a show, like I don't look at like just the show as art or just the music. It's like even the people in the audience are part of the art and like even like any type of lighting and any type of things that happen, even if there's an opening band or anything, like every even like the line standing into the, the venue is like part of the art to me. So like yeah. To me, it's like I just want to look a specific way on stage. I want mm. that product to be, yeah. you know, this like, you know, big muscled kind of like, you know, lean to like looking yeah. guy. So it's like, I don't know. It's like that's how I like look at it. And that's like why I want to like that's what keeps me like motivated. It's a full experience yeah. for fans and, and audience, audience to see, to see performer on stage. stage. And there's, of course, there's the, course sound the sound aspect, aspect but then but there's, there's a visual, a visual aspect. aspect. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's like it's like all these, like, they, when you see all these celebrities who, like, are just singers or just this or that, like, you know, it's, they dress cool and they're in good shape and, you know, so. Uh, and then I, I, I just from a standpoint of, like, waking up and like getting up and moving and going to the gym like I feel like I accomplished something by like you know 10 o'clock 11 o'clock you know so so it's 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 also a great way to just like force yourself to get up and there's so many times where you're like I don't want to go I don't want to do it and then like after you're like all right like I feel much better now I got yeah. some energy yeah. out and then you know and then over time it's like oh I start looking better and feeling better so you know that's so, that's important. so important i love, I that, love aspect that aspect of the energy, the that, energy I that i feel during an after, after. okay so you're okay, so an you're early, early morning, morning workout, workout guy leo yeah, when, is your, when is your preferred time, time workout uh preferred time for me is uh i like i i like if i work out in the morning i like to do like cardio but i i usually don't but like as far as like lifting goes, I like doing it like, like four thirty five p.m. Mm. Um, I like, mm. like actually, I, I don't, I, I, I don't even like. I like working out like a lot more than I do like any like all the stuff that I have to do for like, like. I don't like being on the computer that much. Like I don't, I don't like sitting at a computer, like looking at a screen that much, to be honest. So I actually try to get that stuff, like any type of like email or, you know, having to like sort things or any type of like business, like business, like whatever you call it, like busy work. Just get it done. Just get it done. I like doing that earlier in the day because the later in the day, the harder it is for me to do. And then it's like, I just, I like, I really like working out and then eating like a big like meal right after. And I'm not that hungry in the morning usually. Um, so, so it kind of, so for like 4.30 or 5 PM works for me. But, um, if I'm like, if I'm moving around a bunch and doing a bunch of stuff all day, yeah. I like to do it in the morning so that it's just like done. So yeah. It kind of depends on the day, but I, I I generally like to do it in midday, like 5 p.m. Yeah, I'm like yeah, in between. Like in between I, I think these days have been, been, like been like 1 o'clock to o'clock. Yeah, well, sometimes I do that because uh, 
there's some times where I haven't like recorded a video and I want to do like three a week or something like that. So, uh, and I want to post it before 12. So like I'll wake up, record something, figure something out. And then after I finish that work, then I'll go to the gym. Uh, so it alternates, uh, but you know, it just, I, it's, I feel better after it. Yeah. 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 Always good to experiment experiment with your schedule. schedule. And yes, when when I'm on the road though, I like doing like late night workouts actually because. So what do you do though on the road? Like, because I was just thinking about that. Like when touring and stuff is when you're touring and stuff, is it is it harder to you know find that time to work out? Yeah, I mean. The last year has been the best. I haven't, you know, I've worked out like six days, basically six days a week. I mean, since this last whole entire year, which is like definitely the most, um, definitely the most like, like whatever you want to call it, um, routine I've ever had. Like normally it goes really in and out. Uh, tour is really tough. Um, there are, a lo- like I go to Planet Fitness. There's a lot of Planet Fitnesses, which is nice. Um, that's kind of why I did Planet Fitness because there's so many. Yeah. So it depends on the way I, the way I say it to people is like it just depends on how obsessive I want to get over it. Like yeah. if you want to make it a part time job, you can go to a gym every day. You could figure it out. Yeah. But you gotta like look ahead of time. Okay, we're gonna be in this place. Okay, where's their gym? There's not a Planet Fitness. Okay, is there a gym close by? Can I get a membership there? Can I get a day pass? Mm-hmm. How am I going to get there? Can I use the – okay, you can't drive me. Um, can I rent a bike? Okay, I can't rent a bike. Okay, you have to drive on a highway. Can I get an Uber? Is it worth paying an Uber? <laughs> Do I want to pay $25 for an Uber one way, $25 for an Uber another way? That's $50 to go to the gym for one day. Like That's it just – it really depends on how um, – motivated and obsessed you are i go through times when i'm like i don't get i don't care no matter what i'm gonna go to the gym every day Mm -hmm. and then i go through times when i'm like all right you know i i always i make sure to work out every day for my own mental sanity no matter what or not every day i have like a rest day usually um but that like when i do that i'll just go for like i'll just go for a run and um, I'll do push-ups and, you know, all like just stuff you can do in the green room. Yeah. Um, if, if I can't find a gym, um, between push-ups, sit-ups, dips, you know, if you can find some type of push pull-up bar somewhere, like, you know, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of stuff you can do to get a pump. It's not gonna, it's not, I don't think it, see big weights lead to big size. So it depends on what you're going for. Like you can be really, you can be really like shredded and skinny and just do tons of pushups and tons of all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But if you, if you want to like put on size, like if you want to change the frame of your body to be like much bigger, I've, I've, I've noticed that you kind of need big weights. You got to eat too. Yeah. Oh yeah. You got to like bulk. You gotta, like, bulk. Yeah. Are you bulking, Are you bulking Aggie? Uh, I, I, I really just want to eat lean and, and, lean and eat, like and shredded, but and like shredded. I'm trying to eat like and shredded. Of, yeah, like I'm trying to eat like a ton of like just grilled chicken and and uh, you know uh, avocados and the uh, eggs and yes. but the grilled chicken after yes. a while it's like oh my god like you know for for lunch what am I gonna have grilled chicken. You know, it's yeah, spinach, like, grilled yeah, spinach, chicken. Grilled chicken. Yeah, it's a little monotonous. So, like lately, I've been a little bit less. You know, every once in a while, I get wheat to the Oreos, and mm. I'll eat a bunch of Oreos. I'll eat a sleeve of double stuffed Oreos, which uh, isn't great, I guess. But I, I think my body overall is like I'm pretty lucky so far, where it's like it's not as easy for me to put on too much fat. And as long as I'm working out a bunch, it's not. So as long as I'm eating a lot and most of the, what I'm eating is healthy, I think I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, the occasional Oreos, Oreos or cheat days, days is yeah. not going to make it a huge, huge mark. mark. Yeah. yeah, I just, I kind of have a system where I, uh, I, 
so I used to run a lot, like all the time. Then I started having a bunch of issues with my ankles and knees. Yeah. Um, so I don't really run on, I do run still, but I don't run on concrete really. Um, and uh, so when I'm at home and when I'm in Philadelphia, my brother has like a gym in his garage. So that's kind of like been really amazing for me. Um, yeah. Also, that's why I like work out at five. Like, I don't like going to gym. Like when, when I go to gyms, like outside of my brothers, I actually base my timing on like how many people are there, you know? So like I, yeah. so I just go whatever time people aren't there. Um, and my brother has an elliptical and it like counts your calories. So yeah. I just have a system where it's like, okay, cool. Like I want to, I, I know I'm going to this thing. I want to have a few beers, like beer, like beer is a lot of calories, like a lot of just empty yeah. calories. I want to have like three beers and I really want to. So I'll just like hit the elliptical until it says 650 calories or whatever, like well over yeah. what I want, you know, 700 calories and be like, all right, cool. I can have a few beers. Like I just have a system like that. So that's like, you know what I mean? It's like I could work it off, you know, at least. Definitely. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, in, One of my favorite things, my favorite things recently doing, has um, been doing, um, do you guys know Peloton? Do you guys know Peloton? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's incredible. They're so fun. They're so fun. Uh, there's this girl, there's that, this I girl love, that I love, um, um, Robin. She's, Robin. A, dope She's instructor. a dope instructor. And she has and a she has Tabata ride. Ride. So those, so that's, like that's like 20 seconds, really, really heavy pushes, hit style, and then 20 seconds off, and then you do like, Ten to, 12, 10 to sets 12 sets that and that your, heart's just, your heart's just like <laughs> yeah oh, I, like that. I like that that's awesome man yeah I, I, I wanna, yeah yeah I, I would take you from from the from your from your uh your office, office hours office we hours. love seeing we you, love seeing you. <laughs> it's good to see yeah, you Abby. Love, Abby. it's great to see you guys and and uh, I hope you know we could you know, play again soon or something. But shows are starting uh, next month, which is exciting. I are you playing a show? Are you playing a show? Yeah, uh, April 30th at the bitter end, I'm doing a show. So. Ooh. Uh, but, it's, but it's kind of bizarre. It's like you can only have a quartet on stage. So, like, I can't have, like, a guitar player and I can't have any. Like, it's, it's, it's weird, but I'm excited. At least something. <laughs> Okay, so, that's, okay, that's, that's great that's news. That's great news. Yeah, yeah, so, um, but I'm excited, but um, it was great catching up a little bit, and I'm sure I'll see you guys soon. We'll do something fun. We'll do something fun. Definitely. That's great great to see great you. Great to see you. All right. Peace. Bye. Bye. Aki Bello, everybody. Bye. Peace. Giving us the lowdown on his, uh, we're all giving you the lowdown on some workout advice. Yeah. Important to uh, this is this is a question that comes up because people I think are curious about what the regimen is for us as performers, and it's true that you got to keep your body and your mind in a, you know, it's a very, it can be a very taxing job when you're on tour and when you're trying to keep a good physical and mental state as a performer. So, you know, good little tips. Yeah. Um. It's uh really helpful. Yeah. It's really it's been dude, it's been so nice not being on tour for a year. Like it's been so awesome. It's like the most amount of routine that one can have, right? I've been embracing the routine. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna miss it someday. <laughs> Someone's asking, do you use the Alexander technique? I actually did study with an amazing Alexander technique teacher, Betsy Politan, all through high school. And she has a background in um, breathing, and I've learned so much from her and, and through the Alexander Technique. It's been very powerful. Um, should we watch some videos, Leo, before we... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get into it. Um, we are going to watch a video from our past workshop student. He actually sent us one that he filmed with his band. So let's take a listen to Andrew.
Just finishing up on uh, Instagram. Uh, Andrew is one of our token trumpet players that has done some workshops with us. And I think that was him with his band in rehearsal. That was awesome. Funky. Sounded great. Cool articulations, cool rhythms. I heard some like, like, like I like that stuff a lot. Um, Andrew sounded great. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I feel like there could be more, I wanted there to be a little more of a build, you know? Um, I mean, sometimes you can't just like force a build, build, but that's just like what I was feeling. Like I was like, oh, I could just see it. I wanted to get a little bigger or something. Um, but it was cool. It was a cool jam. Yeah. Um, um I was really digging that. I, I too was noticing his and then his bass player was like that was nice um and we recognize that we ask you guys to send in you know minute clips so we know we're not seeing the whole song that's a cool idea leo about having a build i also think in in a case that you're really jamming out for a long time um there could be breakdowns as well maybe it just goes to drums and trumpet or just bass and trumpet um, so you could have breakdowns, you could have builds. And if in the event that a song is going on with a really long solo, it's just, and if say you're on the same chord, it's a nice way to just add more textures. Um, and maybe you guys even did that in the longer form, but if not, that might be a really fun thing to experiment with. Awesome. You know, we had some other great video submissions come in. Uh, we're going to save them for future office hours. Um, for some reason, I'm having a little bit of playback issues on certain people's videos, and I don't want to show them as they blip out. So thank you for sending those in. If you haven't sent in videos for our, our review segment, DM it to us, um, and we'll keep track of it and save it for a future one. So, you know, everybody, Leo and I have been building out a very exciting virtual saxophone school over the past few months. We've been very busy with it. It's called Saxy School. And um, you may have seen in our Instagram stories, we are opening up a few seats in our beta as we're in beta mode for uh, those of you who are interested to apply and to join us at Saxy School. So if you're interested, you can check out our Instagram stories and fill out that form and we'll be in touch. But yeah, it's been like quite the, quite the journey. Yeah, um, we kind of just wanted to create something that people can learn online, not only from like teachers, but also from each other. Like that was the most important thing for me in school was learning from peers. Um, it's just like a place where you can have access to us basically all the time, um, where you can share your music and you can comment on other people's things and just start general discussions about whatever you want and ask questions. And um, we're working on a lot of awesome curriculum right now um, for this. I'm, I'm actually really excited about, um, I haven't been like this excited about something in a while just because um, it's so new and, and um, different to just create like a whole curriculum um, of, especially going over these techniques that, you know, um, not everybody, like not everybody can teach, you know, because it's our own techniques. So uh, it's been a really great process getting into this. And I'm really excited about it. Yeah, me too. Um, who here is already in our beta mode of Saxy School? I, I think I saw Kristen, Sarah, Ravia. We got some folks who've been in it with us for, for a little bit. But it's been wonderful to meet saxophonists all around the world to see such a beautiful, supportive community. Leo and I have been working on our educational um, projects for over a year now. Before the pandemic, we were actually already working on a 125-page curriculum. Um, and we've done a lot of work this past year with filming our masterclass, and we wanted to build out this community 
um, to create a virtual SAC school that we feel would be something we would have loved to study in and, and a way for everybody, these SACSy peeps, to connect all around the world. Uh, we do hold weekly private SACSy school office hours as well. We have one coming up tomorrow to just our members. Right now it's free as we are in beta. So, um, you know, we love the people that we've been getting to know. And I, too, am very excited about curriculum. I've learned so much from you and from the two of us going through things and talking through things and creating stuff through this last year. I feel like I'm, it's very inspiring, you know. Um, and it's a whole nother thing to think through techniques and figure out how to teach them. And that has been very cool. It's kind of like a backwards design of, you know, here's what I want to get across and how I've learned this from my mentors and the way that I think about it. How can I break it down and now teach it to everyone and, I'll, you know, and then get everyone's feedback and ideas on how it, it hits home. So anyways, if you're interested, you guys, we're opening up a few seats for the beta of Saxy School. You can check out the link in our Instagram stories and uh, join us for a free group lesson and our orientation. We're excited to get to know all of y'all. Yeah. So, some of the comments asked if it was uh, just for experienced saxophone players or be beginning saxophone players. We have people of all skill levels, all ages, all backgrounds. Um, I shouldn't say, I mean, we don't have any two year olds. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you we don't can have, still apply. <laughs> uh, we don't have any 109 year olds either, but uh, we're working on it. Um, but yeah, so we have a very big variety. Um, I think actually, if you're a beginner, uh, you know, you have the you have the ultimate value of being around people that are really good. And like, everyone's really like, I'm so inspired by how like nice everyone is. Everyone's really supportive, and nice. Um, so, you know, even if you feel like you don't have any experience and you've never really gotten a chance to play for people, this is a, a great place to start. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and we are not only going over saxophone techniques, but we're also going over stage performance techniques because for a lot of you watching who aspire to be better performers, you know, that's it's absolutely part of the territory that while you're working on your sax playing, you want to learn how to really present yourself. And uh, that goes even to what we were saying a moment ago with Augie, talking about fitness and routine and all that stuff. So awesome possum. So uh, what else is up for you today, Leo? How long are you with your parents? Or hanging um, today, tomorrow, Sunday. Um, today, uh, we're going to go walk the dogs. And, How many um, dogs? Two dogs. What um, are the names? Uh, Muggsy, Muggsy. It's a little white one, and Bernie. Muggsy and Bernie. Are they, how old are they? Um, probably like. It's so funny how you can remember when someone. I remember they first got the dogs and they came to our Lucky Chops show in Cleveland. So it was when I was still in Lucky Chops. So oh, four, wow. four or five. Okay, they're still young. My family dog. He's like twelve. Asher's. Kind of an older man, older dog. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're they're young. I, I uh, they they have they have they have they didn't have them when I was like growing up or whatever. I had a we had a German Shepherd and a Basset Hound when I grew up. What a combo! Yeah. Oh, but by the way, um, somebody was just com commenting. Yusef, uh, A W Z I is asking where he can find the stage performance course. Um. I'll DM you the link. It's not public yet, but uh, we'll DM you. Uh, anyways, what were you saying? So Basset Hound, German Shepherd. Basset Hound, German Shepherd, and then my parents just got sick of having big dogs, so they got some little dogs. <laughs> they went completely. They went to Chihuahua and. And I'm not really sure what what Bernie is. He's like, he looks like a little fox almost. Oh, I want to see them. I woke up this morning, I went for a walk, and I, I saw a four-month-old husky puppy, and my heart, like, jumped, and, of course, I had to ask him if I could pet it, and it just literally made my day. It was so cute. Yeah. Um, I love animals. Yeah. Um, oh. E-R-I-S-A. 
A N Cole is also asking about the stage performance masterclass. Can you send me a send a DM, um, you guys, if you're interested in 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 the masterclass course that we recorded that's not public yet, and we'll get you the links to that. Um, well, good. So you guys are gonna go for a walk. That sounds lovely. Yeah. I hope yeah. you enjoy. Yeah, and then me and my mom are gonna check out some thrift stop uh, thrift shops. Fun. It's, it's yeah. a beautiful day in New York too. I think today is going to be a nice like outdoor walk yeah. around park type of day. All right, you guys, we're going to peace out. Um, great to see our friend Augie Bello on this one. We've got to have, got to do some more with Augie and um, send us those office hours vids. If you want to get some feedback, those of you who are interested in applying for our saxophone virtual school, apply via the the link in our stories if you want the information on the saxophone and stage performance masterclass that we recorded um we can send you the link for you to uh for you to check that out it's not technically public yet but we can send you a dm and uh thanks for your interest and sending much love to all of you have a good rest of the day yeah so, have a great day Peace. Bye. Peace out.